Hi students, welcome back. Now let's see the logical clock. So far you have seen the physical clocks. So this is about all the clock synchronizations. So uh, uh, one type of clock synchronizations can be done in physical clocks. The different types that we can apply uh, is the Berkeley algorithm. Okay, UTC algorithm like that. Now let's see the logical clocks. So what is a logical clock? Here, if two machines do not interact, there is no need of synchronization them. Obviously, if whenever the systems are placed in a network, then you need to be synchronized. Then you need to be synchronized. And if they are going to be communicate with each other, then a synchronization can play in the role. Suppose if two systems do not interact, then there is no need of synchronize them. So, what usually matters is that the processors agree on the order in which events occur rather than the time of which they occur. So, by seeing this, you can clearly understand the logical uh, clocks is only depends on the order of event. It doesn't uh, bother about the time at which they occur. It doesn't bother about the time they which occur. Okay, means logical clock means they don't want the exact time. It mainly concentrating on the order of the event, order in which the events are occur rather than the time at which they occur. So that is like absolute time is not important in logical clocks. In logical clocks, absolute times are not important. So then you can use the logical clocks and here no concept of happened when. No concept of happened when means at what time it will happen. No, whether you want only the message has to be delivered. So at what order it's sending? The first this message is sending. Next this message is sending. Only it bothers about the order in which events are occurred. It doesn't bother about the time which they occurred. Okay, so that is that there is no concept of happened when. So, absolute time is not important in the logical clocks. So, finally, what you can say, the logical clock, the logical time is not based on the timing, but on ordering of the events. So, you call it as only relative time, not the exact time. Okay. So, what is the definition of logical time? The logical time is not based on the timing, but it is only on the ordering of the events. The logical clocks can only advance forwards, not in reverse. So, this point you have to be remembered for coming videos also. Because the logical clocks can only move forward, but it cannot come back, not in reverse order. It can only concentrate on the advanced forward, not in reverse. And here, logical clocks, non-interacting process cannot share a logical clock. So, this point is also you have to remember that. The non-interacting process. The non-interacting process means there is no need of synchronization. So, they cannot share a logical clock. Okay. If there is a non-interacting system, then a synchronization concept itself is not there. Okay. So, can, it also cannot share the logical clock also. So, whenever they are connected, then only it shares the system. Uh, it can interact the process. The computers generally obtain the logical time using the interrupts to update a software clock. The more interrupts, the higher the overheads. Okay. So, the most common logical clock synchronization algorithm for data distributed system is Lamford's algorithm. So, this is one of the one algorithm, one and only one algorithm that we used in the logical clocks uh, that explains how to deal with the logical clocks in the distributed systems. Okay, the most common logical clock synchronization algorithm for distributed system is Lamport's algorithm. So, what is the use of this algorithm? It is used in situations where ordering is important, not the time. So, this Lamport algorithm is concentrating only on the ordering, not on the time. So, that's why we are using uh, for clo logical clock synchronization, we are using the technique of Lamport's algorithm. So, whereas in the physical algorithm, compulsory, you need to synchronize the time also. Not only the event situations where ordering is occurred, but also it requires the time also. But here in the Lamport algorithm, it is used in situations where ordering is important, not the time. Thank you.